This is so trippy. I come all the way up here to take a screenshot, but like my render distance is capping out at the Y value or something. And you get to see our Ruby Center layer by layer. Let me just hit shift. This is so cool. Ah! So I think it's actually kind of a beautiful moment to see the creator of TNT crafting, well, you know, TNT, but unfortunately that's not the topic of today's episode. <laughs> I can't change the names of these scoreboards. That's why if you look closely, there's a Pistons Mad scoreboard. Yeah, you can guess what I meant. So in the last video I made, we did this and it looks awesome and it's exciting for me. But uh, I was going to do the clock as well. And that's what we're doing today. I have ready to schematic. So this is going to, actually that's a really good representation of what this is going to do. As it's sorting, these hands, one of them, will be going around in a loop. And then when it makes it to the end, the other one will loop as well. And it's going to make a nice little clock. It's not realistic. I mean, there are 16 dots on it, which was both an error from us and kind of a style choice in the end. Because we chose not to fix it. Uh, frankly, if we had already done all the wiring, we just didn't want to do it again. And it was never meant to be an accurate clock, because this only will be cycling while it's sorting. And that'll just be a very nice visual representation of like what's going on, uh, along with the items going up the elevators. So, um, I don't even know where to begin showing what this is going to be. <laughs> it's just a lot of wiring. I mean, it works perfectly. We know it will. But... There are some complications, which I will be addressing. Uh, right here, this is something I put in after. Now, I did this knowingly, because like this wire here could probably easily just route this on top of the yellow wire, and then just bring it down and connect it to where it needs to be anyway. So there are workarounds. Uh, that's the wire it needs to go to. So it can, it can, be, it can work. Um, there won't be too many issues, but I'm thinking I'll just start from the bottom and uh, work up from there. Some difficulty I'm having in building this are things like th oh, this, where I think the person who was working on this before was using a printer, which is fine, but they, um, they didn't quite get every block, and some are missing at random. Also, all of these are saying red because most of these redstone lines are supposed to be on, or a lot of them are inverted right now because, of course, What's powering them hasn't exactly been built yet. And another thing that's really nice when building this is jump boost. Like, getting around this is quite difficult. And without jump boost, I don't really know how easy or doable this would even be. Also, I'm trying to use as much glowstone as I can for both scaffolding and placing blocks against. Uh, you can see I did it over here. Um, because in the original design, at least the schematic I'm working off of, this uh, this whole wiring is not lit up at all. Oh crap! It's not lit up at all. So uh, to use as much glowstone as I can will do a lot of good in making this spawn proof. And then towards the end, when I'm done, or at the end when I'm done, I'll be uh, going through and checking every single block because the very last thing we need in a big giant amount of redstone that doesn't even need to be here are mobs spawning inside of it. Now this is a mindset I can respect. He needed to go AFK and he found the cheapest block he could find to protect himself. Alright, TNT is going to help me on this project. Can you work on rerouting this wire? Uh, if you have the schematic I sent you, then these are color coded. This can be ignored. It's not going to ruin anything. But if you could like, make these wires not cross and stuff, that would just be awesome. I'll work on the rest of the actual schematic. But you're going to have to go a little off script. T and T and I have just about done most of the wiring. There's just a little bit left to do, I'm sure. I'm just ex I'm just kind of preemptively saying that because there's always more to do. But I'm now going to go ahead and... Can you not insta-mine these? That's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and rip out these bone blocks. And then put in these pistons right on top of the hop... Uh, Right on top of the whatever these are called torches, and then at that point we should be good. Uh, the pistons, of course, will push these up, indicate what we're t what we're trying to do. 
Sorry, these witch droppers. Um, I'll have to explain that to him in just a second, but uh, yeah, I gotta put these pistons in and we'll see how it works. All right, I think we've just about got it. The only thing left is to just turn on the clock that runs the clock. So, a lot of these are extended when they shouldn't be right now. I don't even know where to start troubleshooting that. But, uh, hopefully, okay, see like right here, we got a wire that's going nowhere. Oh yeah, there's a ladder here, huh? Why have I thought so far that there's nothing, that this isn't interfering with anything? <laughs> Alright, it's time to remove this ladder. Also, I've been wanting this out of the middle of the sorting system for quite a while, so I'm happy to see it go. Let's just dig down a bit and complete this circuit, yep. TNT, are you up there? Is the clock doing anything? Oh, that was laggy. Oh, because this is direct sky access, so anything I place is going to do that. Uh, is there anything that's supposed to be up here? Or is that just a vestigial block? It appears so. Okay. So this is supposed to be connected. And keep going down. It looks like this is out of the range. Perfect. There are currently five arms to this clock. Are there? Yes. Yes, there are. Um, yeah. Alright. We're going to bug fix this off camera, and then we'll, we'll see what we got. It, I was just talking off camera about how there's usually just one block missing. There is a single piece of dust not connected right there. And there are probably more than that. Like right here. The circuit is being cut by yeah. nothing. When I, built, when I built our temporary dirt farm as well. The iron farm. I mean then. <coughs> also forgot a, repeat, or a repeater. One block too far. Didn't receive the signal. Hmm. One redstone line which wasn't cut, and just a repeater which was missing, and after that, worked fine. Alright, uh, TNT, can you see what's supposed to be in these droppers? I just put a single iron block in, I don't even know if that's... Probably not, there's probably supposed to be full, to be honest. And also, this circuit right here, obviously is supposed to go forward and connect. Well, it, it doesn't do that. It's supposed to connect down here. So I'm probably just going to branch this like so, and that should probably be fine if I, you know, make it do that. All right, uh, we're going to do more testing, and I'm not going to record any more of this bug fixing. All right, this is test number one. I don't think it's actually cycling. <laughs> so I turned on the clock. And of course, it's not going to cycle at all. I've been using game mode 1 just to fly. That's supposed to be on subtract mode so that it actually starts a clock. And then it just has a long fader that actually creates the clock. Alright, so we have a working hand. So this is what will be... This is what we will see while it's sorting items. You'll see that it'll be this constant thing. And it's not perfect, as you just saw. And there are also these, which I'm hoping will get updated. Okay. No, see, they don't go down, so these are all forced on. We're going to continue fixing that. The clock is working. So we have one hand going, and as soon as it hits that point where it crosses past this, I guess, uh, 12, it moves on to this next one. But there might be some wires crossing over here, uh, because the pistons aren't exactly acting as they should. However, the clock is working. Some wiring's messing up those pistons, but we got it. TNT found whatever was missing down there. I'm assuming just a missing dust or whatever, but you can see that the wires are not crossed, and it's working perfectly fine. This video's not over, though. We're long, we're far from that. So, just to kind of reiterate, when it gets to this line here, and then passes not once, but twice, this is kind of like the fake hour hand. Okay, I'll fix that, too. This is like that's like the fake this is like the fake hour hand. This just counts the cycles. And this is just gonna trigger while it's sorting, of course. Um, I'll I'm gonna add a lever, probably this one, because I think this area is chunk loaded now. That will trigger the clock because this is a lot of piston movement that is purely unnecessary. So if this is really hurting anybody's FPS, we're gonna have to be able to disable that. So uh, I will do that towards the end, but right now I wanna clean up this area and fix that last bit of dust. So, we're almost there. It has been so long since I've been able to just 
tinker with this with a complicated mess of redstone like so few of our farms actually require something like this um, and like I said it really is simple these are all just like 16 individual inputs just kind of controlling the clock and it's not optimized this isn't the best thing but yeah so the problem that we've isolated is when this diagonal is extended it extends and then this one piston gets retracted after just a short while so I theorize that there are crossed wires where there shouldn't be and I'm not entirely sure what to do with that information so that's kinda of what we're dealing with so here's the plan I've got a full chest of steak down here and I'm gonna take out a piece of steak every single time which should influence this until it's paused right there actually I got lucky that's where we need to be so I'm gonna have either me or TNT are gonna trade off actually we can see it right now so these three torches are on but something's turning this one off okay we can work with this yes he found it there's dust supposed to be under the glowstone he said I don't actually even know what that means but he isolated the issue so now let me uh, come over here, grab my steak back, because, you know, man's got to eat. And then put my chicken in here, take that out. That should probably just unextend it. Trigger that. And the whole system should work without a flaw. Look at that. That is a working clock. We did it. All right, so this hopper here will always have items flowing through it when it's sorting. And when the, when the system up here shuts the system off, the items will back up into this hopper anyway. And the only reason they'd ever be backed up is if this is broken or if everything is sorting. So this will be able to give us a constant output that we can use. Let me just leave that repeater open-ended. Now we need that to connect with this signal up here. This signal can actually do the exact same thing. So let's make it go like so. I want, so this output here also only triggers when items are flowing through the hoppers up here. So this wire will only be on if the system above is sorting items, which means we can use, okay, by the way, this torch tower does nothing anymore. In fact, I removed the pistons that it used to control. I forgot that that coffee was cold. That's disgusting. That's gross. So now we can yeah. have both of these connect because I don't want this repeater to make a loop. So I'll probably just simplify this. So now I don't really know how I'm going to connect these. It doesn't really matter. This wire here, all this needs to do is yes. actually connect to the re is to connect to that comparator down there. It'll be a very very simple loop. I think this comparator can... What are you talking about? The video. Uh, recording? Yeah, yeah, actually. My bad, my bad. Yeah, no, yeah, really, thanks, Lego, for chiming in. So... I didn't know you were recording. Not helping. So this comparator is all we got to connect to. In fact, this is going to be a lot simpler. I didn't actually intend on doing all of this on camera. I just didn't realize it'd be so easy. So she said, okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to test that because if that will work just fine, will that start the clock? I think so. I'm not entirely sure actually if this comparator needs a 15 signal input. I don't actually think it matters. I think it just needs any kind of trigger at all. Because you can see this dust is going down, which means the clock is cycling. Cycling. Slowly but surely. The dust is depleting. And then it'll go off completely. Start the loop once again. Yeah, no, that looks like it'll work just fine. And like I said, this wire should only ever turn on if either of the clocks are going when sorting items. Which means that we effectively now have a spark clock. Connected to two and two other clocks so yeah it's it's a lot of clockage going on here one could say that we are overclocked shouldn't you 
Shouldn't you overclock it? Oh my, you made oh. that joke <laughs> seconds before me. Oh wow, the timings. Yeah, nice. you, you just can't talk about clocks with a bunch of computer nerds. So, as soon no, as I start never. sorting these items, the clock should start working. Oh my gosh! First try. That's so cool. Well, we've done it. We've done it, TNT. The clock face is cleaned up. We don't have any uh, ladder in the middle. Lego has died, making this a complete episode. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the epic adventure of cleaning up this shit that I haven't wanted to. I mean, making a clock in Minecraft. So. No, that was a joke. This is just something I've been putting off for so long because it was... Well, to be honest, this was exactly as hard as I expected it to be. Oh my god, that's what she said. But now it is done, so... Well, pardon all the jokes. I, it is just late and uh, my brain is fried. I haven't bug-fixed redstone like this in a very long time. It is a mess down there. Um, I'm not going to go show it because we just spent way too long that's looking at it. That's what she said. See, everyone's getting in on it. Oh my god. Alright, I'm ending the video. Thanks for watching. I'm just recording a little epilogue here as we've been sorting items. Um, this is just... This is like the final thing I want... Okay. Um, that's never happened before. <laughs> it looks like the hour hand and minute hand have linked up. I'll have to talk to the guys about that. I don't really care right now. In fact, this looks better to me. I lobbied against the hour hand, not gonna lie. Maybe it'll stop after a cycle. Yeah, it fixed itself. But... It's just so cool, like, you know, it's that final detail, like, this room has finally come alive. I mean, my FPS has gone through the floor, but, uh, yeah. Also, if anybody noticed that I moved the AFK spot, added beds, and said a paradox earlier, uh, please point out all three of these things, or just the first, last one, but, yeah, just wanted to talk about this because, like, kind of the after show kind of thing, where it's like, we finally did what we wanted to do. And this looks totally cool. But, um, yeah, now the video's over for real.